Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island, back with more Let's Play Stardew Valley. I almost said Star Ocean First Departure. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful and sunny. Today is the Luau. The spirit, spirit, spirits, the spirits are mildly perturbed. So we forgot about something when we were preparing for the next day. We forgot that we need something to put in the pot. We're going to put a hot pepper in the Luau pot. Um, I did pick out one of the gold star ones. The quality of the item you put does affect something. So just keep that in mind. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to certain things. So I always want to make sure the luau goes off really, really well. We should have some melons coming in soon. A couple more days maybe. Our tomatoes are getting ready. No signs of the blueberries yet. We will get the wheat when we come back. Um, the luau doesn't start for another hour or s well, another two hours or so. So let's chop down some trees because we need some wood. Um, we need to build a chicken coop. I want to upgrade my house. There's a lot we need to do. Whoop. And it's a lot of work to do it all. I'm wary of cutting down that tree in particular. Let's do this one. Oh, we need to upgrade our axe and stuff soon too. We've got the regular, regular X, the regular, regular X, as if there's another kind of X. Um, we might take it and get it upgraded to a uh, copper X before too long. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna leave the little trees alone for now. I want them to grow. They're worth, uh, there's more wood you get out of them when they're bigger. Okay, the luau has begun. We're gonna run down our energy a little bit more before we go, though. Because it uses, like, no energy there. <clears throat> and we're still pretty much ready to go directly to the mines. Oh, the train thing. Let's see if we can get up to the train in time. I don't know that we'll be able to. Uh, we're gonna try. Hi, kitty. If you come up this way, I may have shown this off before. I don't remember. If I have, I'm sorry that you guys have to watch it again. Um, I don't have a whole lot of luck with the train, but other people swear by it. So the train passes through, and it's supposed to drop stuff. I've never- oop, a geode. I've never had a whole lot of luck with it, but, I mean, even one or two little things is nice. So just, I don't- you can, like, run into it, and it won't do anything to you. Uh, I found out the other day that if you try to attack it, it will, in fact, damage you. Like so. Whoa, hold on. Computer, what are you doing? Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that on the capture or not. Oh, that was really weird. Um, but we got a piece of iron. Chunk of iron, a geode, and a piece of wood. Not a lot, but every little bit something. You can come up here and break up this stuff too if you need it. It's nothing I need right now, so I'm not super worried about it. Oh, and I don't have my hoe on me, otherwise I'd break up that spot. It's also a good place to get fiber. My cat is looking at me like he's expecting something of me. Don't come up here. 
but it's time to go to the beach for the luau. Our energy's not completely run down. Yep. Hold on. Oh. Sorry, I had to kick a cat off the desk. He's ready for me to come to bed. And to be honest, I'm probably not long before bed. Whoops. I don't know why my hands are as cold as they are, but they are. <laughs> yeah. After you get off the like the main shoreline part of the beach, all the sand is like super super soft and it's hard to walk in and it gets in your shoes. <laughs> all right, so let's talk to everybody. I do look sharp. Will do. <laughs> yeah, you look like a guy who enjoys visiting. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Demetrius and Robin are dancing. Emily is very enthusiastically dancing. No, it's a luau, George. Sorry. <laughs> Goodness. Vincent isn't a good dancer. Well, he doesn't look like he would be. Well, I mean, you can always take a dip in the ocean if you get sweaty. I'd say so. Nice and sunny. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not pleasant. Oh wait, you can talk to him twice. That's right. <laughs> that scamp. I feel you there, Abigail. I don't think there's anyone else in the pier. I think it's only her. Let's see. Shane is at the buffet table as usual. And so is Gus, but it makes sense because he's the one who, uh, makes everything. Yes, a free buffet twice a month. Which, I mean, hey, free food is free food. I can hear one of my cats snorting, snor snorting, snoring. Oh, man. I'm ready for fresh vegetables. Like, I'm not really ready for spring. I bet he does like age whiskey. <laughs> You've forgotten. How did you forget, Pierre? How long have you lived in this town? It is, but that's okay. Air is cooler by trees. That's actually a fact, but it's a fact. <laughs> you make a good point, Sam. But Penny understands. Yeah. <laughs> what are you roasting exactly? Well, Mara doesn't care. She's just interested in eating it. <laughs> okay, Harvey. Don't be creepy now. Well, Clint, you could try and socialize. I say that, but it's tough sometimes to socialize. And let's talk to Marnie. Okay, so let's throw in our Gold Star Red Pepper. We're going to grow three kinds of hot peppers this year. I'm super excited. I love spicy food. Love it, love it, love it. There's something so delicious about it. I have eight, and a problem where I eat a lot of shiracha. <laughs> a lot of shiracha. I, uh... I eat shiracha so often that uh, I had got a eight and a half pound bottle of it for Christmas. 
I'm about a sixth of the way through it. <laughs> it's only been like three weeks. I put a high quality ingredient. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but mm. please taste the soup and don't die. Let's see. How does he react? Uh oh. Really? That's sad. Because we put a gold star pepper in there. If it's good, he'll tell you. If it's bad, he'll tell you. If you don't put anything in at all, he'll say that it's missing a certain something. That sucks. Um, I don't know if there is like an end-all be-all to what the best ingredient to put in the soup is. I've had good luck with the red peppers in the past, so I don't know why I didn't have that same luck um, this time, but it is what it is. Sometimes not everything can go our way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep the watering can for now, because we'll need to water our crops in the morning. Hello, kitty. And let's go ahead and head to bed for the night. Uh, we are going to go with the Gatherer. Chance for double harvest of forest uh, forest items. The Woodworth 50% more, I think that refers to the 50% more money. Um, which is not something... I don't sell the wood, so it doesn't make any sense for me to pick that. I do go big on forage items, though. Ooh, thunder and lightning is expected tomorrow. That's good. Spirits are very happy. That will hopefully make a good day for the mines. And we actually need to go see the cart lady. Um, because it is cart lady day. Melons look like they're turning out good. Already got some stuff we need to do with these. We need five gold star ones. We really need to plant a second round of melons because they take 12 days to mature. Tomatoes are in, hooray! Tomatoes are a very finicky plant to grow, actually. Um, they won't grow or they won't fruit without some sort of stress. Much like myself. <laughs> I say that, but. So maybe we'll put off our visit to the mines until tomorrow. Probably not. We might do a little bit today. But we need seeds too. So let's go see what the cart lady has for sale. Probably not the stuff I can afford. That's the thing that happens. I want to buy some corn seeds. I want to buy some more melon seeds. I really need to get the corn started because it's a harvest that will last a long time for us. Okay, we don't need... Ooh, the duck egg is not a bad price, all things considered. We're going to buy that. Um, the eel's not a bad price. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get the rare seed. So we got a couple of things. I probably already have an eel back at the, the place, but eh, they're handy to have sometimes. And you need them for a couple of recipes at least. And uh, the price we paid was not bad. I've seen she she usually runs things like that much, much more expensive. So I'll take it. And the rare seeds are always a good idea to purchase. We've got eight of them now, but you never know when we could need more of them. We're going to go ahead and uh, ship those out. We're going to ship two of our tomatoes. We're going to keep one. And we're going to take the gold star hot pepper with us. Because we're going to give that to somebody. Oh, I wonder what Marnie... how Marnie feels about us. 
Ah, uh, we can't give her any more gifts this week. But maybe we'll be at the Two Hearts next week so we can finish this quest for Mayor Lewis. Okay. I still do want to go to the mines today. But I want to get some seeds and get some of that stuff planted first. Oh, is there a mine quest? Oh no, it's a fishing quest. I don't really want to do a fishing quest. I don't even have the rod or anything with me. Okay, so let's get nine more melon seeds. Uh, nine corn seeds. And we're actually going to go ahead and get... Oh, I didn't want to get a thing. Shoot. Uh, we're going to get two hops. We will need the hops for something. Uh, the sooner you get the hops, the better. They only grow through um, summer. But uh, you will need a couple of hops to have just to be safe. For something that's going to be coming up in a while. Like, it's one of those quests where if you don't have the ability to do it immediately, that's okay. It's not a big deal. But, the sooner you're able to do it, the better. Well, I say that, but... I can't guarantee that that's actually accurate. Okay, let's get this stuff planted real quick so we can get some work done in the mines. Okay, um, let's see. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. And one there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plant more melons. Let's go ahead and do this here. And then our corn here. We are going to go ahead and plant the spangle. Oop, right there. And... I don't want to do the two hops there. That's a bad idea. There we go. Alright. Get that one. And this one. We'll get that. Okay, so we're not going to have all day for the mines, but that's okay. We'll have a good chunk of the day. We'll get to do more in the mines tomorrow since it's supposed to rain. Um, we're gonna leave the hot pepper here for now. Whoops, I meant to leave some of the tools too. We don't need this. We don't need the hope or the scythe. We don't really need the axe either, but uh, it's coming with. <laughs> Just accidentally. Where are we in the fishing skill, by the way? Okay, we're level 5. I think once we hit level 6 or 7, we can get another rod. We really need to upgrade our mining and our combat. We haven't spent nearly enough time in those places. Hi, kitty. I want to check the mushrooms. No purples. Okay. The purple ones are really handy to take with you to the mines. Um, because they can, uh... They're just really good at recovering your HP. Oops. Okay. Oh, we can go this way. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting quite sleepy. Very relaxed. Ready to crawl in my warm bed. And snuggle my cats. And get some sleep. Okay, what level? Oh, man, we were only on level 15. Guess I got further in my other game because I found such a good weapon so early on. So if you have good luck in the mines, it generally means the first couple of uh, rocks you break will have the entrance to the next area.
However, you're always more yep, you're always more likely to find it near the entrance to this area. Oh, it's the maggots. I hate them. Kill them before they become hard. There we go. Uh, I know that sounds weird. But once they become hard, you gotta wait till they become the uh moths to be able to do anything about them. And that just is awful. It's a big old waste of time. Because once they become hard, you can't just like, whoops. Oh, goodness. I hate the mods. They can knock down your health so, so quickly. Ooh, we got another cherry ball. That's nice. We need those. They are helpful down here. Okay, whoops. Shoot. And they come out of nowhere. I mean, they do have an audio signal, but... If your volume's down like mine is right now to record, it doesn't do a whole lot of good. Okay. There we go. I would love to get down five levels. There we go. Is that gonna kill them? Oh man, it did. Nice. Oh, see, this one became hard, so you can't hit him. The moment he becomes a moth, though, we can start hitting him. Whoops. I unequipped the blade, which was really, really dumb of me. But, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, right? I want this quartz. I want what's in the barrel. Absolutely nothing. That's okay. And we're gonna go ahead and re the sword and come back down here. Ooh, a lot of copper today. That's good. We need the copper. Set up on here. There we are. Break these up. Whoops, we dropped a piece. Ooh, getting lots of copper. No, 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 no. 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 Well. I think once they become, uh, full size too, they regain their health. So it takes longer to kill them. I cannot hit for anything today, apparently. There we go. And here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna eat the cranberry sauce because it ups our mining skill. So it should make it easier to pick X through stuff. Which is good because it's a thing we need. Whoops. I want to kill this guy. There we go. Cherry bombs. Because he has a chance of dropping those. Woo. Here comes them all. Right on time. There we go. Okay. Get this out of here. I'm not even gonna mess with that last maggot. It doesn't matter. Oh, there's some slimes over here. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. There we go. Oops. With your male and female slimes, watch out, because they can make little slime babies. There we go. Go ahead and grab the quartz. Okay, our mining skill 
is still up, which is good. There we go. I actually, for the first time in a while, tried out some of the other weapons in the game. Um, ooh. Okay, that's the next entrance. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um. And by that I mean, there are other weapons you can get. Some of them just aren't very handy. Like, I've never, I never found much use with the slingshot, honestly. Um, the Broken Trident I've had a lot of good luck with. The, um... The club is not bad. The club, the club is just slow in comparison. Oh, this level is the worst. Whoops. I say the worst because you really have to go like all the way around through, it's like a spiral on this level. Which takes time. I need to cut my way through here. Oh, there isn't a way down, but I don't want to go down yet. And these guys can knock your health down fast, so be careful. Oops. As you can see, our uh, health is already about halfway. Oh. Farts. And lots of little ways down are popping up, but I don't want to use them yet. I want to get all the way through this level. I don't want to eat one of these, but we're going to. You get some hits in on him. There we go. Because usually there's a reason that there's the spiral. Like, you get good stuff if you just keep on the path. It's gonna be cutting it close, getting home by two. Whoops. Oh, it's midnight. Okay. We just have to be out of the mines by one. No later. And then we have to go directly to bed. I've timed all this rather carefully in the past, so... I've died- I've not died, but I've passed out in the past too, so... Oh, the glow ring. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah, we're cutting really close. It's 1 a.m. Let's hope we can do this, guys. I don't know that we can. If not, you'll see what happens if you don't make it home in time. Oh, no, I played with fire. Oh no, I just want to get out of here. Oh yeah, no, we're not going to make it. Hopefully we... Oh, you got to be careful though with the... Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> if you pass out, especially in the mines, you can lose stuff. Oh yeah, no, we are definitely not making it home in time. <sighs> well, I hadn't wanted this to happen, but... It's going to. Well, you guys are going to get to see what happens when you overexert yourself. This is why it's important to be careful and take care of yourself and, and don't push yourself too hard. Um, but I promise you guys we're okay. We will pick it up in the next one where you guys will see uh, exactly what happens when you pass out outside your bed after 2 a.m. Sorry to have to cut the episode here. I would love to do another day, but I just don't have the time for it right now. Good night, guys. Bye.